Don't be alarmed, everyone. It's just me. It's Derek from Classic Game Room. I've decided to try something special this week. I've decided this week is going to be Atari Lynx week. Atari Lynx week. Complete with Echo. Here on Classic Game Room's CGR Undertale. Now the question is, button, button, who's got the button? Um, oh, I found the button. <laughs> Look, if you're gonna start a week of anything, what better way to do it than with a little Michelle Pfeiffer? And, and by little, I mean very little. She's barely even in this game. Not a great choice, Batman Returns for the Atari Lynx. <laughs> It's a good choice to start Lynx Week, though. Batman Returns was released in 1992 for basically every possible device that played video games. It was, it was like a conspiracy, because everyone was in on it. It had three different publishers. It had 13 different developers. See, because if everyone's involved, you can't blame anyone. You know, it's like, it's like fanny packs in the 90s. You can't point the finger when your wallet's on your hip. Anyway, they developed versions for the NES, uh, the Super NES, a year later. Sega got versions for the Master System, the Genesis, and the Game Gear, and it was also released for the Amiga, because you're not going to not tap into the Amiga market, as well as the Atari Lynx. Now, I haven't played all those games, I don't hate myself that much, but I have played the Genesis version, and I gotta tell you, this one's not nearly as bad as the Genesis version. This is, at the very least, not the worst Batman Returns, which isn't much of an achievement. There's about 37 Batman Returns! Gotta track down that Amiga version. Now, what's interesting about the Lynx version is that... What? Actually, there's a lot interesting about this version. See, it turns out, Atari was really high on Batman Returns. So high, in fact, that they bundled it with the system for a while. Like, to Atari, this was the showpiece of the Atari Lynx. Which is another... not... great choice. But look, it wasn't only that. If you bought a Lynx, they would just send you Batman Returns. So, whether by the bundle or by the mailman, this game was basically free for pretty much everyone who had the system. What I don't know is whether that was just because they thought highly of Batman Returns, or because they thought, oh, bat sh no one's buying the Lynx, maybe we should give away some free Michelle Pfeiffer. Oh, wait, that's Danny DeVito. There's not great choices all over the place with this damn thing. And I'll be honest, game kind of sucks, right? I mean, you guys read the internet. This game kind of sucks. It's only got four levels, so it's very short. But actually, that it ends up being mercifully short, because it's also the hardest four levels ever. Like, basically, in this game, if you stop running, you die. It's like Batman is just Keanu Reeves in speed in this game. Like, I guess Atari mixed up their movies. The second you stop moving, you get accosted by enemies from all angles who throw explosives like it's the 4th of July. And they've been drinking since about 11 a.m. They throw dynamite, they roll bombs at you. Buildings are rigged with explosives. Happy birthday, America. I can't tell if this is Gotham City or the White Sands Proving Ground. See that, because that's where we tested the first nuclear weapon. So you learn about history on CGR Undertale. History and mental illness. <laughs> so the combat is so weak and the enemies are so frustrating that the gameplay basically just turns into a runner, which in a way is actually kind of cool, even if it's unintentional, and even if Batman never runs from anything. But it's like, you know, there's kind of like a survival vibe to it, you know? Like, like, am I going to make it? Can I just get to that next health pickup? Will I ever see Michelle Pfeiffer? 
telling you, I, I enjoyed this game. Like, way more than the Genesis version. It's not much of an achievement, but at least it's something. And to the game's credit, it looks pretty great. I mean, the commercial claimed that it had 4,000 colors. I mean, I didn't count, but... I think, I think that checks out. It looks it looks pretty great. Especially for a handheld game, and especially for that time. In fact, that's another thing we'll learn here during Atari Lynx week. The presentation, the graphics, the sound, that stuff was never a problem for these games. And the gameplay, well, that's another bad story. <laughs> internet hates this game. Actually, the, the internet hates everything. And so do I, to be honest. I hate most things and video games, so you'd think I'd be all over this damn thing. But I, look, I don't know what happened. I can't explain it. I didn't hate it. Actually, I mean, I mean there are things I hate about it, i.e. it's cheap as hell and you only have one life, so you pretty much are just dead instantly and your only defense is to basically bend down and punch your enemies in the dick. See, the game says eat. What you don't see is the neon that's burned out. That part says shit. Eat shit. Is what Batman Returns is telling you. But, hey, I kind of admire that. And I really do like that, you know, that, that run for your goddamn life gameplay. That, I mean, that, that could be its own genre. That's also pretty good life advice in general. It's Batman Returns for the Atari Lynx.